my mouth was running in the first period. It was running the whole game, but coach heard it in the first period. Beller starts with you. You come down here to lead the team and you're doing that shit? Bullshit. Do you understand me? It ends now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I just told Joe that. Joe goes, do you want me to take it? I'm like, yeah. I need to know if you're listening in practice. I need to know if you know what forecheck we're running so that if we got one guy back or two guys back, coming back into your zone, all that stuff. You know, so it's so important. Yeah. So no big deal. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, this is stuff, big, like this is stuff we'll go over. We'll embarrass them all yeah. a little bit, the, and we'll do another date test. Wrong. So a lot of them. Date do. wrong. Yeah, a lot of them didn't. And then, wow. there, then there was a group that... That's up, attention to detail there. That, you, there's no reason you should wake up in the day and not know what day it is. The fact that some kids wake up and they live their day they, not knowing what day it is shows you how, <laughs> how ADD this society is, you know, and these kids are growing up. So that's important. And that's... Not something we're ever going to reprimand anyone for. We just want them to get better as a person and learn how to... It's like making your bed in the morning. Make your bed in the morning. You know? More... I'm more stingy on this. If I just see him go in the neutral zone, I want him to go lower and swing lower to be the option. Unless... Yeah. You, that's a really hard one to draw That's up. what I mean. You know what but I like, mean? But, like, the thing is, he doesn't really go low and he goes straight out when it's just more... Yeah, that's I want, all right. I give it to him. Fine. Then that's what I mean. Yeah. You can, you can no. overturn that one because I was strict on that one. Because so he's like, pretty... He's got the basics down. All right. You know. Then you could change that one. To so eight? That'll, yeah. That will be the one you look at in grade because I was more yeah. strict. There's only yeah. one kid that got perfect. Only yeah. to him. Like I said, I was really fucking D D. Going that, the opposite that, way, yep, and breaking through, that, yeah. That, yep. Yeah, that, that's your call. Yep. No, he's got it. He's yeah, got then, the patterns then got, down. Then he got a perfect. He got a perfect. Yeah. Then only one guy got a perfect. Nice. Ones where it's like even. That's I why you always, just so you know, when you're coaching, yeah. use the same terminology all the time if you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why, like, when you're explaining the the penalty kill now, use the I and yeah. the and the red line sweep. Yeah. So that we're all three on the same page. <laughs> Otherwise, you you do like one two one one three. Yeah. Guys start just going. What the hell? You know? Yeah. So we'll figure it out. The set breakout one was interesting with him. The yeah. The test is just to make sure on the systems, and most of them I was just going over what they got wrong just so they got it, because if they got it right, there's no point to go over it. But, like, they got it wrong, and it's like, all right, you know, this is what it is. And most of them it's just they sort of knew it. It was just more making sure they did know it, because it's like they might draw the line a bit shorter or they just didn't draw it. But it's just a lot of it's just making sure they have it, because there are some guys where it's like, oh, I don't get it. But for the most part, they know it. It's just a lot of them never had to transcribe it like visually like that before. A lot of them just do it kinetically, because they just go through the motions or know it audibly. So it's just different, difficult trying to get it in that way. Go. Attaboy, hey. Daniel. It's getting better at playing tighter. Yeah. You know? 
Hey, push yourself to play it tight. D, that's why we're doing this. So I was in the NA3 last year and practices were pretty laid back and um, it wasn't very high intense and you kind of had to push yourself. Uh, practice here, everyone's pushing you, your players, your peers, your coaches, everyone's just kind of pushing you and uh, it's really intense. Come on, start! There you go, Beller! Hey, tighten it up a little bit. You guys got to take chances in yeah. this. If you get burned in this, it's all right. You got to gotta play tight though. Yeah, D-man exchange down the wall, down the wall here, then a two-on-one going that way. Yep, yep. Ready! All right. Jeez, oh, tough crowd. After the boot camp and first week of practice, starting to get a good idea of everybody's skill level and how we're going to fit together as a team. But, you know, we didn't have lines or anything set yet, so um, we weren't quite sure how that was going to shake out. And, I mean, obviously had a couple guys come in, so they were mixing it up a little bit. But we kind of just worked our way through it and found what we were looking for. Just like that, we talked about that yesterday. Atta boy, Petey. Perfect. Go! Go! Yeah. I thought you were right. Yeah. Stay with them. Way tight. Nice play. Snap it. Oh, come on. Oh! Gotta get that 25 block. Are we going snipe? Snipe? Yeah. You got him, you got him. Uh. Right there. Uh. Hey. Go. Go yep. The day before all of our preseason games, we didn't slow down at all in the weight room or on practice. We just kept high intensity. We, we looked really good. We looked really good in our preseason games, I think. Preseason was pretty successful for us. I, you know, we played two good teams in the Moose and Hudson, and I thought we played well. For preseason, um, getting into the games is, is, is always, it's fun, because then you really, really see what you have as far as, um, you know, hockey players go, you know, skill sets and uh, how guys think the game, how they, uh, you know, react in certain situations, how they're, how they handle themselves on the bench, uh, you know, how they battle through adversity. I'm bad, as bad can be so bad, bad as hard to First, that Moose game, we showed a lot of potential and the effort, and everybody was giving it their all, which we like to see. You know, we're not too worried about the outcome of those games. Um, not everybody's playing, the lines aren't set yet, so that wasn't 
our biggest concern, but definitely showed that these guys were here to work and stuff. So. with 40 seconds left that wasn't premeditated by us by any means. And uh, it's something I, to be honest, was very um, upset about seeing happen. defended themselves and each other and uh, you know you know it's the ugly part of junior hockey that the Blue Ox doesn't participate in uh, fighting is is not what junior hockey is about it's just um, it downgrades the sport of hockey it really it really makes us look bad we can't have that stuff going on in juniors like if you want to pick a fight go ahead and do it and get it done with obviously the brawl versus Hudson was kind of unfortunate and not something we wanted to see happen but you know, I almost thought that that brought us closer together too. So uh, I thought preseason was really good. I know, I know uh, the team this year really based, in my opinion at least, we're just a really fast team, some skilled guys, you know. And uh, I think the lines are really starting to click and stuff. So I think it's going to be a great season for us. So, uh, good news, bad news. Um, bad news is Beller got cut from our Tier 2 team in the NCDC. And I hate to use that word cut because it sounds pretty harsh. It's just a weird year with COVID right now. Uh, a lot of collegiate players uh, at the D1 level are going back to play juniors in the USHL. and the NHL and the NCDC and, and Max just happened to be a victim of, of that trickle down effect. Um, so any other normal year, Max would be playing tier two hockey this year, but unfortunately he got released uh, last week. So he's coming back this week um, to us and we're pumped. I mean, I'm excited. We just got better. I mean, it's. We have nine defensemen, but we have nine really good defensemen. Um, so it's not our ultimate plan to have that many uh, defensemen. We usually carry seven, but uh, with this COVID situation going on, uh, we expanded our roster this year to eight or nine. So um, just not knowing if we'd lose players in bulk due to COVID testing and and injury and that kind of thing. So, hey! What's up, What's up brother? Yeah, how about you? Welcome home. Okay, it's good to be back. Yeah? How's it going? Good. Good. How was the ride? Long. Yeah? Yeah. You and Mama Bella? Yeah, just made the, made the trek. Did she make you sandwiches? Oh, I made more Did you guys stop at a hotel, uh -huh. swim in the pool? Yeah, no pools. Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't want you back, but we're glad you're back. <laughs> All right, Thanks. so let's no. have some fun. Yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah, yeah, no, it'll be good. I played uh, for the Blue Ox last year, and I started off the season out in New Hampshire um, for the Monarchs and the NCDC, but I got, uh, got the boot, so I can call the, called my parents, called uh, Coach Wooda here, and asked him if he's got a spot for me, and he said, he said sure, we can make it happen. So I drove back, it was like a 28 hour drive all together because I stopped at home in, in Iowa and then drove up drove up from there and uh, got a good practice in Thursday morning and then was ready for the game. I'm ready to have a ready to have a hell of a season.
Good shit, Quentin. Fuck yeah. Got it. Yeah, do you guys want to start just doing that or what? You just gonna start wrapping it or you gotta take it all the way in? Speed it until you can. And then if you can't, find where Mike is. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta have a lot of movement, otherwise this shit's not gonna open up. I know. Ah. Go! Hey! Come on! Just because we're better than him, coach, doesn't mean you gotta treat us unfairly. Hello, right, Quentin. Good shit. Stay top, stay top. Move it. Nah, you're good. That was a good shot. Not gonna turn down a shot from there. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Is that better? Yeah, it's not wide open. No, it's not. What do you guys do here? Oh, right in the dick! That's for hitting me in the dick. Yeah! Yeah! That's a goal! We're in! Yeah! Hey, that's, oh, hey, hey, this is Beauty Bucket. So at the A, it actually used to be a gold helmet that we used to get, but uh, somebody took it, so we don't know where it went. Uh, so now we just have a Jimmy John's jersey, rocking uh, one of our uh, sponsors. It's pretty sweet, good, fun time. Sometimes the goalies takes it, but uh, other than that, it's always good to see what boys can bring out of the out of their back pocket, under their sleeve. Some of it's just pure, pure, pure luck, and some of it's pure skill. That is pure terrible. Fuck me! That's tough. That's my one mate! It's like a Meyer sock. So it was good. The preseason got the guys ready. Then, um, you know, they traveled down to Rochester on Saturday, you know, for the home opener and, and down there to play the Vipers and beat them 11-3. So, so we're off to a good start. We got the, we got the moose this weekend on Friday uh, in Blaine and then our home opener on Saturday. So um, we should have a, a, you know, full crowd. We can only have 250 fans with COVID right now, but that's better than not having any fans at all and the atmosphere will be great. So I'm looking forward to it. The guys are too. So. Uh, the home opener was a great game. Uh, we played good. Uh, obviously with a limited crowd, it wasn't quite as rowdy as some of the vets said it can get, but they definitely lit the place up and it was still pretty loud. So it was a good, a good atmosphere, good experience, and I just I loved it. played last night we know what we're doing all right a few things I want to go over is on that PK when the guy's here and the guy's here all right and he shades this guy comes like this the C opens up and they're going cross ice D freaking step in and rip it back down the ice don't try don't try to pick it off on a breakaway 
pick it off, rip it down, okay? Take that away right away. Um, other than that, we gotta be more physical tonight, period. And that doesn't mean cheap. It doesn't make taking runs, any of that. It means frickin' finishing your checks and making them know you're there, all right? It was a great north-south game, but that's what they want. Um, and get pucks deep and frickin' go to the paint hard. And Woodsy's gonna tell you what else to do. Shoot from everywhere, everywhere right? Yeah. Everywhere, okay? Um, other than that, I'm good to go. You guys good to go? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got uh, Kramer, Scratch, Hopes, Belzy, Hobby, Castellani! All right, let's go, buddy. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Let's do it. Hey, we keep a lead now. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Hey! There it is. Go, go! Up! Guys! Right away, they got him, they got him. Maz, Maz is the unit. Wait, what, they got one? Don't, no. Nope. It wasn't a penalty, you gotta catch him. Not the fucking refs, guys. Fucking figure it out. Yep, up, up! There you go. That's right, Hitler! You fucking Dude, shut the fuck up. Hey, uh, shut the fuck up and play! Uh, Let's fucking go! Fucking bunch of chirpers. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah! Woo! Good play. Good play. Good job, huh? We needed that. Help us! Help us! Yep. Let's go! Fuck. Go, go. My mouth is running in the first period. It was running the whole game, but coach heard it in the first period. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, 
he got after me, which I deserved. I shouldn't have been that much talk, you know, but, you know, it was, he put me in my place, and I, and I got back to the grind after. after but, that. It's horrible. A retaliation. He had a beautiful hit, and then he gives the guy another shot. Thank you. Well, I'll the shot for 15 14. All right, and then sweet. I, I, I should do, do face offs. All right, thank you, Joe. Hey, guys. You heard me on the bench. Next guy who says a fucking word to these guys is going to sit. All right? We got fucking too many players. So I'm going to play the guys that just shut their mouth and play and want to fucking win and not be a tough guy. Got it? Are we fucking clear? Yes, sir. I'm so sick of it. Beller, starts with you. You come down here to lead the team and you're doing that shit? Bullshit! Do you understand me? It ends now. You are not going to learn from that. It's bullshit. These guys are fucking laughing at you. I've told you, you're on this team. You're on this team as long as you play by our rules. You got it? Get fucking ready, let's go. I just got to go buck them up a little bit and just reiterate kind of what we talked about and then the we'll be done, yeah. I'm not even going to say change anything. Don't change anything. Just fucking keep playing hard, all right? And I know, hey, at times I got to get negative, boys. All right, that's my job. But I don't want to be doing this every fucking day. You had a bad mojo going. I don't yeah. like it, okay? Yeah. We need you. Yeah. <laughs> You're a leader on this team you're gonna play a shit pot full, all right? Yeah. But trust us, okay? Okay? And I know your coach has probably never talked to you like this. Well, I'm talking to you like this, because I like you, and you got a ton of potential. Let's go. he did must have been pretty bad because he just got a 2 and 10 so he will be out for pretty much the remainder of this game unless we have uh, an extended overtime period so we'll have a 4 on 4 period now there's a quick wrap around there Klopp scores Things. Um, first of all, that 
Yeah, good job. Good job. You guys played hard. It was good. It was good. You battled. Fuck. The end was a battle. You guys got pucks out. All right. So um, proud of you. Um, remember how this feels. All right. Because we're going to have a lot more of these games like this. All right. And hats off uh, to Vinny. All right. All right. So, hey, hey, he could have, he could have. You know, thrown in the towel after the first, and he battled, and uh, that's all we needed, two periods. So, so good job. So the home opener, it was, it's fun, and I felt bad because some of the guys, they weren't able to experience uh, like a real home opener here because um, of the 250 uh, limit for capacity, but I don't know. I think it was just, it was just fun, um, fast-paced hockey. Uh, it was just back and forth the whole game, and I thought, um, we played pretty good besides like the first period I thought we were a little slow but after that we just picked it up and I thought for like a first game, first junior game for all those guys at home that was a great opportunity with all the people there that we could have. Um, it was loud, it was fun and yeah it was just a good hard hockey game. No no uh, cheap stuff, just just going to the net and just good, good all around hockey. <laughs>